Hello there, my name is Ismans and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today we're going to be making this effect, uh, a burning wig in Blender. Uh, so I've already uh, explained how I did this, but uh, it wasn't a step-by-step -step tutorial. It was just a, a tutorial meant for more advanced or intermediate Blender users. I'm just explaining this, the kind of things that I did uh, that uh, the, someone who is more advanced might be familiar with that I don't have to go through a uh, step-by-step -step showing them how I did it. Uh, so this is uh, kind of uh, meant for beginners. Uh, this part of the tutorial, which is part two, uh, is meant for beginners where I'm going to be explaining uh, step by step all the way until we get the final effect. And this is what we did. Uh, this is the effect we are going for. So a burning candle with a flame, a wick, and uh, just melting down as it burns. And uh, we can go to the shading mode here. You can see the effect here. We also have some materials, um, lighting, uh, to affect our scene. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, dive in and uh, see how things go. How things go so yeah, I think I forgot I made occlusion and see how everything burns down you can even see the wake uh, the problem is that uh, when I'm playing back it is not very visible only when I pause I think because I set my resolution uh, samples a bit down a bit low but uh, yeah, let's see how we can do this let me turn off screen space reflections because they're kind of slowing down uh, my viewport uh, but uh, yeah let's go into blender open up a new project and uh, let's begin uh, creating the candle uh, so let's add start by adding uh, a cylinder mesh cylinder and scale this in the x and y plane so s s shift z shift z to scale it in constraining the z axis and i can move it up a bit so that is above our zero point and uh, can turn on smooth shading and uh, apply rotation and scale because I scaled it non uniformly. And uh, then I want also to smooth uh, these corners here by beveling, by using the bevel tool. So use the shortcut Ctrl B to bevel that. And uh, you can use your mouse wheel to add more resolution to your bevel. Uh, let me do this right. So yeah, we have our candle. And uh, we can start working on our wick, uh, which is going to be the this stroke that uh, supports the flame. Uh, so for that, I'm just going to add a plane. I'll rotate it 90 degrees to face me. And just so that uh, we can easily see the different objects we have in our scene, I'm just going to this to this setting here and uh, turn on random colors and also cavity. And uh, you can see that uh, now you can easily identify the different objects we have in our uh, scene. So I'll go to edit mode of this and uh, go. Uh, you can see I've changed uh, to vertex mode uh, so that I can select the different vertexes. I I want to select just a single one and then Ctrl I to invert the selection and then delete all the other vertices. The reason is that I want to have one vertex so that I can extrude it using E and uh, so I can draw out uh, the wake uh, that will support our flame. And uh, you also want to go to different view angles so that you can distort is or move the vertices around so that you have a very interesting wake like this uh, because you want the, the flame to burn as it moves around uh, this week. So we have done this, but uh, the problem is it's uh, too jagged, it's, the polygons are too sharp. Uh, so we can add a, a, a subdivision modifier to kind of smooth uh, that around. So go to the modifiers and add a subdivision modifier. Uh, so you can see uh, this is good enough, um, but uh, it's just a single vertex. So if we try to render this, it won't be seen uh, in our scene and uh, if we turn off overlays you can see it will just disappear so we need to give it give it some thickness uh, so for that i'm just going to add uh, this go to the, your modifiers and add a, a skin modifier uh, this will give you uh, that edge look uh, some thickness uh, so to but uh, it's too big right now so we can go to edit mode uh, select everything using a and then ctrl a then drag to reduce the thickness of your wick i think that's good enough uh, but uh, the thickness is still sharp has sharp corners it's basically just uh, an, an elongated uh, cube instead of uh, a kind of a rough shape which is more cylindrical uh, so we have a modifier here but it's only affecting uh, the length of our it's smoothening the length of our uh, of our wick because we applied it before we added the thickness the skin uh, that gives the thickness uh, the that that gives uh, the weight that the thickness we're giving it. Uh, so we need to add another modif subdivision modifier so that it can smooth uh, the entire thing at once. So let's do that. 
and you can see we have that smoothened. Uh, so now what we can do, uh, we can bring this in, put it inside there, and maybe just so uh, I don't have uh, this uh, pivot point here, I'll just reset it to uh, the geometry, uh, so that is it's on the inside there. Uh, so what else we, we can do here, uh, we need a flame, and uh, that, that should be simple, just add a plane, and uh, go to edit mode and start extruding out uh, the different vertices until you get a relatively nice uh, frame shape. And maybe you can distort this, move this a bit like this. I can turn on proportional editing, then scale everything like that. Uh, but again, it's too kind of, uh, we, we're seeing a lot of polygons, uh, so I'll turn on the, I'll add on a subdivision surface modifier, and uh, there is a shortcut for that. You can just hold on control, and then to just watch this space here, you can see we have the subdivision surface modifier add, added there. I'll also need some thickness uh, to this uh, flame, so I'll just add a solidify modifier, and uh, let's see, let's see, we need to increase uh, the thickness a bit. Uh, you see it's a bit too sharp and uh, that's because the solidify modifier is being applied before the subdivision modifier so we can move this up and uh, that will s kind of smoothen uh, that and but also give uh, our frame our flame uh, some thickness <laughs> thickness uh, i'll smoothen this up and uh, so that i can have something like this uh, i can also increase uh, the flame with it uh, if i want and now you just need to position this on our week uh, but uh, i also want this uh, kind of pivot point to be settled at the bottom of our frame flame so that i can easily move this down around and also if i want to scale it i can scale it from that pivot point uh, then i can move this onto our wig uh, simply like uh, that i think this is too too long uh, so i'll scale it down a bit maybe something like that maybe just move it in a bit and then bring this down a bit and now we are done with that the only thing we are left is is uh, just to animate and start uh, melting our candle uh let me save this as candle by the way if you want the project files you can find them on my patreon page i think i'll have this project uh, for free to download so that you can examine it and uh, look at uh, the other things but uh, if you want to support me you can just become a patron that way uh, so let's see what else uh, now we can start animating and start melting da this down so I'll add instead of adding another object I'll just duplicate this and uh, scale move it up a bit and now uh, we're going to use it as a boolean object uh, to kind of uh, start melting down our candle wax. This is going to be our wax, so, uh, but uh, this is going to be our boolean object. So I need to animate it uh, moving from up to down so that it start melt eating out our candle. So let's add a keyframe there and uh, move to about uh, the 100th uh, frame and move this down up to around there. So this is the animation we have and uh, now I can go here. I want my animation to end exactly there so I'll just end uh, set that as the end frame and now uh, we have this i will just let it play back as i play around with the settings so i have the work selected and now i can go to the modifiers and turn on the boolean modifier select this uh, as the boolean object so i just use the pick uh, tool and then select that and you can see it's starting it has started to work but uh, the problem is that uh, this is also a solid and uh, we can't see through it so i need to go to the display settings and then under the ins under the viewport display change this uh, to texture I display as texture to a uh, wire so that I don't see it or you can just hide it for now and uh, just watch uh, the effects uh, but the problem we have is that uh, is the boolean let me unhide using alt H uh, the problem is that uh, we have is that uh, the boolean is the same size as uh, the boolean object is the same size as our mesh uh, so to so to come to that and I that's why you're saying that uh, we have some artifacts happening there so i need to go to edit mode and scale this up so that it's not the same size uh, the reason i'm not uh, scaling it up in uh, in in objects 
in the object uh, mode in object mode is that uh, if i did that i'll also be adding keyframes here uh, because we have the keyframe record turned on uh, if we removed it it will also just reset uh, because we already have keyframes set it will just reset uh, the the uh, the scale back to the original keyframe so what i mean is that uh, if i scale this down so scale this maybe even make it larger and i tried playing back you can see because we have we already had keyframes uh, it will just reset uh, the scale to what we had in the keyframes uh, that's why i went to edit mode and uh, then scaled it that way uh, that we don't get that effect so the problem now is that uh, this is just melting it down uniformly but i uh, want to give it the same effect as we have here as you can see that uh, it's eating out dif at different sides uh, like uh, how a normal, a normal candle would so i'm just going to select this uh, maybe uh, go to the display settings again and change this back to uh, wire uh, sorry texture so that i can see this correctly i'll also turn on proportional editing and move these vertices around make sure this is turned on so basically you want to get the shape of the candle maybe maybe extrude this use out out uh any first time of proportional editing use out s uh, to scale this along its normals and uh, uh, i think we approach this wrong uh, in the way we wanted to do this because if I had hide this you can see we're getting the shape but uh, it's going to be very hard for us to get the shape we want if we approach this like this so I'll just delete all this part and uh, only remain with this and uh, then select this edge loop and then hit F to fill it in and I can use Control B to bevel this until I get a kind of a concave is it convex? concave whatever it is a concave shape uh, like that uh, so that it's kind of it kind of gives us uh, that ki that kind of concave shape in the candle, uh, but I think that's not uh, good enough. So I'll scale it up a bit. Uh, maybe I can also reduce the size of uh, this a bit. Uh, let's hide this for a second. I think this is going in a bit too deep. So I will select this. Basically, we are creating the profile of the bevel. I think now you can see uh, this is a bit better. So then let's unhide this. And uh, so we need to give it more a more interesting uh, look. So for that, I'm just going to add, go to the Boolean object, select it, and then go to the modifiers, add a, a displacement a modifier. And uh, let's add a new texture here. Go to that texture and uh, change it from image to clouds to get uh, the effect we want but uh, this is too strong so i will uh, first uh, reduce the size a bit something uh, i don't know and uh, maybe go to the colors and increase the contrast a bit and now we can come into the settings here and reduce the strength a bit i also think we don't have we do have enough polygons here so let's hide this and see okay so i think we need to scale our boolean and uh, make it a little bit larger again because we set the keyframes already oh uh, yeah this will, will just reset back so i'll need to go to edit mode and uh, do it uh, in this form uh, we don't have enough polygons to get uh, the kind of effect we want here so what i'm going to do is uh, add a subdivision surface and uh, move it up uh, this will give us enough resolution uh, to kind of start eating at the candle in the same way we want but you see if we look at the candle we're getting these effects here and i think that's because uh, on our boolean object we don't have enough resolution and you can see those markings are also on the boolean objects we don't have enough resolution here so i'll just insert this a few a few times and uh, then add more edge loops here and there just so we have enough resolution for the uh, for this for this uh, displacement i think that's good enough maybe we can uh, 
so I don't want to always go back here and change the scale if I want. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, because we're also going to be using uh, the MT to animate uh, the, uh, the displacement modifier, I can also use it to change uh, the scale here. So, and the way you do that, you just add uh, the empty, shift A, empty like that. Make sure we, we're not recording anything here. And uh, select this object, the Boolean object, and go to the modifiers again, the displacement modifier, change the texture coordinates to object, and then select uh, the empty as, uh, as the object. Now, if you scale this up, you can see we are also scaling uh, the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the modifier, the displacement modifier texture scale. So I think this is, this will be interesting enough. But uh, if you don't find it interesting enough, you can just also just select some of the vertices, turn on proportional editing and uh, move them in a bit. And uh, that will give you a more interesting shape. So if we unhide this, you can see how this is affecting our candle. I, what you can also do is, uh, uh, because you can see when we move that, we move, when we moved uh, the vertices, you can see we got a prob an issue. We're getting a few issues here. And uh, one of the issues I'm, I wanted to show you is that uh, other than this kind of weird artifact here, uh, we are losing the convex, the, I don't know if it's called convex or concave. I think it's called concave. Uh, the concave shape within our candle. So let me unhide this and uh, go to edit mode. I need this center polygon to be, if I hide this, this here. I think we have doubles in our polygons here. That's why we have a few issues. Uh, so I remove that. I think we still have an, a few polygons here. Uh, that's why, that's this, the reason we are ha having that artifact in our uh, boolean or in our shape so let me merge at the center here so that we don't have that issue anymore and uh, i want this to come out far further than all the other parts uh, so that we maintain uh, that concave shape in our candle uh, you can also select parts of some vertices around here and scale them out uh, this will this will also further give an interesting shape uh, to your your candle uh, melting effect so we have something like that and uh, the uh, the displacement modifier will just give it make it even better so now if we unhide everything and uh, hide uh, the boolean uh, we can play back just to see the shape so you can see we're getting a few artifacts here as the boolean is eating up but i think the int the shape is interesting enough as the candle melts here so and uh, I would also want uh, the melting to start right at the center there. So I will unhide this. Uh, and you can see because of this kind of protruding part here, uh, it's making it, it is making this area kind of um, melt before the, the middle part. So I'll just do it like that. I don't know. And uh, so what we, oh, so we, uh, so this, if I had hide this, you can see we're having a few issues here as the candle start, starts melting. We're getting a few artifacts here around uh, the cylinder. So to counter those, you just go to edit mode and uh, add more resolution uh, here. So just a few resolution there, and you can see we don't have that artifact anymore. So you can see now we're getting exactly what we want. And, and I think this is even more interesting than the original version that I, I did. So yeah. And uh, you can see we still have some artifacts here and at the beginning here, a few issues here. And uh, that's because we don't have enough resolution here as well. So I'll go in and add in a few more. And I see now that's much better. So we have the candle melting, but uh, we don't have the wick uh, melting. So I'll do that in part two uh, of the tutorial. I'll move this down and uh, have this flame follow the wake as well as it melts down. So I'll see you in part two. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and again, uh, you'll be able to download uh, this project project uh, on blender101.com uh, and uh, on, on my Patreon page uh, for free. So you can also become a Patreon supporter. Uh, that way, um, that way you can support me and uh, let me be able to 
continue making this so thank you for watching uh, leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next part